Hey guys, this is Epson HML. Today, let's talk about WYSIWYG Web Builder. So WYSIWYG Web Builder is a web builder application that allows users to be able to design interactive websites from start to finish um, by simply using this tool. So this tool is available for purchase. Once you purchase it, you install it on your system, then you are good to go. One cool thing about this web builder application is that it's um, not on a subscription base where every month you have to pay for it. So it's a one-time purchase. You purchase it once and you're good to go. Now, um, each and every year comes with an upgrade. So an upgrade means that if you're using version 13, then there's going to be version 14. So you might have to upgrade to the next version where you pay about 50% the amount of the actual price of the software. This version is version 17. So version 17 was released um, in 2021, just um, somewhere around September. And it offers a lot of great tools that you can use to go about your web building process with ease. Talking about WYSIWYG Web Builder, there are lots of things that you need to know. So um, let me just browse through this section of the homepage that shows some of the features version 17 has. And most of these features are features that are available in older versions as well. So maybe version 16, version 15, 14, and so on. So the web builder allows you to design responsive websites where you are able to place in animations, images, videos, you're able to add some um, event and so on. And it also features web fonts, which is very popular on most websites as well as icon libraries where you're able to use to, you know, show elements or icons uh, or objects where you don't have to use actual images, which will take um, some time to load. And it also has search engine optimization tools, especially for version 17. One cool thing about WYSIWYG Web Builder is that you can also use it to create content management systems. That is basic ones, as well as you can also have an e-commerce website built with this Web Builder application. So looking at some screenshots over here, these are some um, website that has been designed with this particular application. What has version 17 has to offer? So version 17 is more centered on having a search engine friendly website. So you have search engine optimization tools that allows you to do the right thing on your website to be able to help optimize your website for search engines. So as part of that also, you also have some added um, elements or some added tools such as e-commerce tools that has been improved. You have um, improvement to the layout grid. You also have some new um, objects such as the image hotspot um, two and many more. So we're taking a look at some of these tools and subsequent video tutorials. So talking more about WYSIWYG Web Builder, once you purchase it, once you have it installed, you might be looking forward to resources on how to go about it. So the good thing is you can start off by visiting the forum of the application, which has a lot of useful resources over here that helps you with your web building process. You know, you can ask your questions in case you are struggling with something. You can just come to the forum and then put your question in there and then some people will be able to respond to your questions, you know, to help or assist you with your web building process. As part of that also, there are a couple of things that you need to do as part of WYSIWYG Web Builder. So WYSIWYG Web Builder features extensions as well as um, templates and um, also some tutorials online. So if you come to the online tutorials, this is the best part to start off with this particular application, which has a couple of um, tutorials on how to perform um, different things using the web builder application. Now, if you are not so much um, okay with the tutorials which are offered all over here, which are in text, you can also come to the um, video section where you are able to watch video tutorials. So um, such as mine, you can come to, let's say video tutorials and yeah, you have a couple of video tutorials, which are offered by different users. Um, so you can simply visit my website, which has a couple of video tutorials on my channel where you're able to learn to perform so many things using the web builder application. As part of that also, you have extensions. So some extensions are free, some are paid. What are extensions? So extensions are sort of like plugins or added object or options, which comes with some advanced features that allows you to perform specific functionality using this web builder application. So if you don't have all the tools you need in this web builder and you might want to perform some specific things, then you might want to check out extensions. The good thing also is if you come to the forum, there's, there's a section that contains extensions that has been um, designed by um, users. Some are free, some are paid, where you are able to 
um, download them or use them for your um, web building process or project. So if you come to the paid extension, you're able to see some of the paid extensions that are available over here. The cool thing is a lot of these extensions offer you like great functionalities added on functionalities to your website. So that has to do with extensions when it comes to Visual Web Builder and then also templates. So, so templates are a good point to start off working on your project. You might not have the time to start a website project from start to finish. So you might want to begin with templates. So on the Visual Web Builder version 17 website, there are a couple of templates over here uh, that allows you to perform you know, a couple of things. So you might want to just download any of them or to begin with, or if you want a professionally designed template, then you might want to head over to adaptationishmail.com. That is my website, which has a couple of um, design templates using Wizard Web Builder. Now, all these templates have been designed with um, Wizard Web Builder. So you, um, once you click on the um, template to see the details, you get to see the specific version that was used to design this particular one or the, most of the templates. So, that you know that this is going to be compatible with the version you have or not. The cool thing also is that older websites designed with older versions of this application are compatible with newer versions. So if this was designed in version 12, you can open it in either version 14, 15, 16 or version 17 and you can go about editing it without any sort of challenges. And then also um, as part of the templates, maybe you, you wouldn't want to begin with a template, but you would want to have like a custom project done for you. So on the same website, when it comes to custom template section, you are able to specify your, um, your website details or your project details, and you're able to get it done for you. So we do web builder as a very great, um, web builder application that I've personally come across. I've known this web builder application for some years now, probably more than six years and it has been very great it keeps getting better every now and then with so many features that helps or makes the web design process a lot fun and you don't have to be a pro to get started using this particular web builder application you simply just will have to play along a couple of tools just know what a tools does play along with them and you'll be good to get a website started in minutes so I really or highly recommend this um, web builder application. Check it out and let me know your thoughts about it if you happen to be a new person to this web builder application. So that will be just about it for this particular video. In my subsequent videos, I'm going to be targeting some of the specific tools in this web builder and show you how to go about them or show you how to use them. And then as part of that, also, I'll be designing website from start to finish, very simple websites, which will be very easy to follow. And then along the line, I'll be having a series of webinars as well as um, be designing some video courses, which some will be free. Some will also be paid so that you can get started using Wizard Web Builder, um, which level level you find yourself. So thank you very much for watching. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that Anytime I have a new video, you get to see it. So once again, this is Dapsin Ishmael. I'll see you in the next one.